fusion spliced field terminated connectors. AFL's Fuse Connect fusion splice field terminated connectors are uniquely designed, featuring minimal components. With a factory pre-polished ferrule, its innovative field termination process eliminates polishing, adhesives, index matching gel, and crimping in the field. Fuse Connect is compatible with most of Fujikura's fiber holder fusion splicers. This video will guide the user through the steps required to properly terminate the Fuse Connect MPO connectors. The Fuse Connect MPO installation kit contains the following items the Fuse Connect MPO assembly tool, the ribbonizing tool, the ribbonizing glue, the cord splitter tool, a 3 mm cable clamp, Kevlar scissors, and a carrying case. The tools and materials required to complete installation. An FSM 60R ribbon fusion splicer, a CT30 universal cleaver, a ribbon fiber holder, a ribbon hot jacket stripper, an instructional video on CD-ROM, lint-free cloth wipes, fiber prep fluid, a marker pen, and safety glasses. The Fuse Connect MPO connector components. A Fuse Connect MPO connector body holder. A Fuse Connect MPO housing assembly. A mechanical clamp body. A mechanical clamp cover. A spring unit. A three millimeter round cordage boot and a flat ribbon boot. Warning, always wear eye protection when handling optical fibers. Dispose of any cut or cleaved ends properly. Three millimeter cordage fiber termination. The components and tools required for installation are the Fuse Connect MPO connector components, a ribbon fiber holder, a ribbon hot jacket stripper, a ribbon fusion splicer, a Fuse Connect MPO assembly tool, a ribbonizing tool, ribbonizing glue, a cord splitter tool, a 3 mm cable clamp, Kevlar scissors, a CT30 cleaver, lint-free wipes, fiber preparation fluid, and a marker pen. Place the Fuse Connect connector body holder into the right side of the fusion splicer. Place the 3 mm cable clamp 16 inches from the end of the cordage cable and clamp the cable. Slide cordage boot onto the cable. Place the end of the cable at the end of the ribbonizing tool and place two marks on the cable at the other end of the ribbonizing tool. Place the marked cable onto the cord splitter tool and slit the cable jacket. Split the cable jacket from the end of the cable toward the marked section of the cable jacket. Place marked cable section onto back arrow position of the ribbonizing tool. Place slit cable jacket and Kevlar yarn to the left and right side of the cable and Kevlar securing section on the ribbonizing tool. Following the color code sequence, insert one fiber at a time through the ribbonizing tool cover until all 12 fibers are through. Move cable forward so that the slit is aligned with the second set of arrows. Clean the 250 micron fiber using a lint-free wipe moistened with fiber preparation fluid or 95% or better isopropyl alcohol. Place a small dab of ribbonizing glue on a lint-free cloth wipe. Wipe the glue onto the 250 micron fiber in the ribbonizing tool. Remove the ribbonizing cover. Remove the ribbon fiber and cable from the ribbonizing tool. Use the Kevlar scissors to cut the second marked cable jacket. Slide the spring unit onto the fiber. Refer to the strip template on the package cover and mark the ribbon fiber at 35 millimeters from the end of the fiber. Place ribbon fiber onto ribbon fiber holder and make sure the mark is at the tip of the ribbon fiber holder. Place ribbon fiber holder onto ribbon hot jacket stripper. Press firmly on hinged door till indicator light turns green. Strip the ribbon fiber and remove the ribbon fiber holder from the hot jacket stripper.
clean the bare fiber using a lint-free wipe moistened with fiber preparation fluid or 95% or better isopropyl alcohol. Insert the fiber holder into the precision fiber cleaver and cleave the fiber. Load the fiber holder into splicer and close splicer wind protector. Splice fiber to fuse connect connector fiber. Peel off the protection film from the mechanical clamp body. Place mechanical clamp body onto fuse connect MPO assembly tool. Unclamp ribbon fiber holder. Pick up the ribbon fiber and connector body holder from the fusion splicer and make sure it is held taut. Place spliced section onto mechanical clamp body and close the fuse connect MPO assembly tool hinge to secure ribbon fiber. Peel off the protection film from the mechanical clamp cover. Place mechanical clamp cover onto mechanical clamp body. Place mechanical sleeve press onto mechanical clamp cover and press to secure mechanical protective sleeve. Remove mechanical sleeve press. Release Fuse Connect MPO assembly tool hinge. Remove the fiber and connector body holder from the assembly tool. Remove the connector from connector body holder. Slide the spring unit until it is flush to the back of the connector. Remove the dust cap from the housing assembly. Align white dot on ferrule assembly to white dot on connector housing. Slide housing assembly onto connector until a snap is heard. Place dust cap back onto connector. Slide the cordage boot up to the spring unit. Separate Kevlar yarn equally on either side. Screw boot onto spring unit. Trim Kevlar yarn with Kevlar scissors. Termination complete.